the last day and a half I've been swathing this wheat because I have so many weeds and part of it I'd come on here and show this video I can't put all that material through the combine it's the first year you use a swather I ended up um, rebuilding the cutter head put a new cutter bar on it new new drive belts new draper belts work pretty good Fix PTO, new hoses. About two thirds of this wheat, or maybe half, had a lot of weeds in it. Big weed lamps quarter. So that's what you see out here. And over there, I'm going to direct cut that. And on the other side of the creek is 40 acres. And I noticed, not surprisingly, where I had a poor stand of beans last year and I had a lot of weeds that went to seed. That's where I had most weed pressure this year. Um, we'll see how the wheat yields. I mean, I had a good stand and I didn't get much rain when I needed it. And we did get rain after it had already fully grown. So I'm thinking I'll get a low yield, but maybe a good test weight. We'll see. And I've still got to do the kerns right after this. 25 acres of that. So I'll let the uh, windrows dry down. Maybe tomorrow, maybe even this afternoon, I can do south of the creek with the pickup head. I've got the pickup head on the combine because initially I thought I'd, I'd swath all of this. I got pigeons in here. But I'm going to take this pickup head off and um, put the bean head on so I can direct cut the wheat. Then we'll move. Uh, Get the auger moved over in position. Um, to fill the bin with the wheat. Not fill it, but put it in the bin so I can get air on it. So after I combine, I'm gonna dump it into that little gravity box over there. It's on the 4020. Nice day. Could use a rain, but not right now. 